What's up guys? Oakland Gym Bodybuilding here. We're gonna do we're gonna I'm just gonna for this video I'm gonna just rep one thirty five to see how many times. Last time I maxed it out was two oh five. So we're going to rep one thirty five out. I say I give myself maybe about Ten reps since me and my little brother have been staying up all night. He's playing Battlefield. We were playing Dragon Ball Z. And I was actually going through some old pictures back, my old videos back in my day. I had hair. So I say about 10, 12 reps, maybe 8. I'm not going to take anything less than 6. But yeah, guys, I have a new style of training that's coming out starting tomorrow on Monday. I'd say, I'm going to say try to hit maybe seven to eight, maybe more. So, to pull and pull and pull. So I guess we're going to the top of my lines. <laughs> yeah, buddy, lightweight. A big sniper, pretty big. Plug in. I, I got you, bro. Remember? Ten reps. That was actually that's actually pretty good. You should be spiked that my own. You should group. be sponsored by Coke. Oh, I thought you were about to say something about the drug coke. Sure, you know what? Wait what are you trying to throw the computers here? <laughs> oh yes. And I like pumping that out, and I'll find. Let me just quickly add this so I'll be on my math map. Wait, you know math? Yeah. Here, add this up right now. It's actually a new style from CT Plet Pletcher, but this is a bit of a a different style. Doing it, I'm only doing forty. You're doing forty-five reps on a single exercise. I'm actually about to now go to nine reps. I'm about to do nine reps, and you decrease a rep. He said he was doing this with 225, but he ended finishing off with 400 he? reps. That's 25, so. Who's he? A really badass bodybuilder. You, you, know, you, you don't have to say he. You didn't tell him who he is. C.T. Fletcher, a fucking bodybuilder. There you go. Now we know I'm who he is. I'm pretty good that. Is. So I'd say about nine reps. In amnesia. I'm calling this the bench press workout. Yeah, me too. And I say you keep doing this until you eventually get up to 200. So you can eventually do it up to 200 reps. Whereas by the time you hit 130, you should keep doing this until you can do 135 or 50 reps is what I recommend. I'm not going to keep doing it just until I have other workouts. How do you expect other people to do it if you don't do this? I just put other people in. You gotta motivate people, dog. Guys, I have faith in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you only have three likes on every video. Um, actually, my last video. And that's why I think you made three of them. I had freaking 20 likes on well, well, <laughs> it. Well, when, like when was it made? 2009? Um, actually, no. My last one was like two nights ago. Oh, Queen's Oh, yeah, guys, remember. Like, Battlefield. Oakland Gym Bodybuilding. 
Oh, on Instagram. Follow me. It's Oakland, capital O, underscore, Jim. Would they, underscore if they're watching Carter. your video, wouldn't they know what your YouTube channel is? So, so. No, on, that's on Instagram. So now oh, we're going, snipe. Going in for eight reps. My hands are slippery. I should put my gloves on, but... My gloves are... I need to make your fucking YouTube channel. We're in Battlefield game. Alright, eight reps. Seven. <laughs> Don't laugh, man. You're gonna fail. I'm breathing. I'm definitely laughing. <laughs> we can eight reps on that. Oh. Dad, did you want to earn money off of this video? It depends on. I'm not doing prostitution. Well, Mike, no, you can put um advertisements, earn money. Did you know that? No, you will get paid for YouTube. I already ha I don't need to buy my fan. Like, <laughs> you don't get paid a lot, but you get paid just how much? No clue. You can look it up. Exactly, Charlie. So you're giving false advertisements. No, you get paid, Leon. I know people get paid. But anyway, guys. So okay. Doing this is a great way if you're like doing a powerlifting or a deload, great way to do it. But anyway, I'd say keep doing this till you hit about 40, 50 times. If you can do it, you just keep going. Keep going, so, guys. You're gonna pace yourself. That's why we're not starting too many reps. And choose a benchmark number. My opinion on benchmarks is 45s, 25s. Some people consider it the 35s, but not in this. 45s and 25s. You know, you just do about, that's why I'm starting off with 10, and you'd eventually go up and wait, I mean, wait to 185, and you do that, you'll pace yourself, maybe start at 20 reps, or just keep doing this till you can get all 400 reps, you ladder up, you do. The way he did it was, he started from 1, then you go to 2, then 3, and you keep going to 20, then you go all the way back down. It's actually 210 reps you do, so it's actually a 420 workout. But, you know, you guys should give it a try. I'm just doing small. I'm actually doing seven reps now. And just the muscle. Going a little, not going too extreme. So, seven reps. I went really bad at work time. I'm like doing chest at 4 o'clock, something like 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, guys, this is a great pumping workout, actually. But like I said before, guys, it's like a pump means you're going to the the right direction. Now, if you only go to get the pump, get in for 20, 30 minutes, and have you out. Now, see, I, I like to watch a lot of movies. I watch a lot of Batman, and one thing that Joker said that I find is that. When people at the end, I kind of put this for work now, when people at the end of their set, them final reps, you really see what people are made out of. And that's the way I look at the pump. Anybody can get through the pump, but whenever you're fighting through and the pump's gone, you're fighting every rep, you, it's destroying, you don't feel good anymore. That's who we knew who the pussies are, and who the champion. I'm six reps in the newest, if you guys are not going, as why my hands keep slipping, so I figure. If I start a little bit closer, my hands won't get up as wide. If you, if you get inside shoulder width, guys, you're hitting more of your triceps, longer, longer on range of motion, so just keep that in mind. And you're hitting more of your triceps, so we're going to do six reps. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
can also build in dorms. This is actually, this is also good if you're trying to build in dorms. Now, I've always wanted to see someone to, to do this with 315 or 405. And we're going to, or what you can do is each week add five pounds to it, or, it's, add, or add three pounds. Try to increase it as little as you can each week, or as eventually you'll be able to pump out reps. And I'm thinking about just incorporating this into my workout routine for my, for my chest day. <coughs> it seems like it's pretty interesting. So we got two, five. We got 15 reps left, guys. Some people, when at the end, they like to just pump through 15. No, that's not the point. You want to be able to control it. So, you notice know, my feet are now elevated. Trying to put more attention on the chest. We're going for five reps. Let's go. your strength. <coughs> and, I'm, and I decided I'm going to start repping out. I'm going to like choose a number to hit no less than that. So say on bench day, I rep 155. Personally, I'll be like, no, I'm not going to hit anything less than four or five reps. So we're going in for four reps. Check if you really a little bit easier because when doing the first couple of reps you're coming down I mean when doing the first couple of sets your body because you shouldn't have got I hope you didn't do a warm up or anything like that it's just like you want you need to get used to it and when you eventually when you elevate you actually relieve tension off your lower back basically your lower body and you put it more on your upper body, mainly your chest. Because I feel it more on my chest. But I think tomorrow when I go to the gym, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. Maybe do 135. I might actually just do 115, to be honest. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'm going to on 18 track, so... I can go work out in the middle of the night if I wanted to. So we're going right now. Huh? You could right now. You just don't. As long as at the gym. As long as don't find out. Not at the gym. Oh. Yeah, but I don't have exactly a truck to go to the gym yet. So cardio. That's your cardio. Huh? I'll be your cardio. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck cardio. I'm going on a move tomorrow. Hmm. I'm actually getting a leg workout tomorrow because I got to go down three flights of stairs. Oh, yeah. quick stop. But that's family. Ten bucks an hour. So we're going for four reps. Let's go. Oh, and when you come down, guys, breathe in. And breathe out, going up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh, double kill. Fuck. Oh, shit. <sighs> you try to pause it when you come down. Yeah. And hold it on. Hold it where it's not bouncing. We got more control, so we got six reps left, guys. And if you want, you should, guys, what you guys should do is try to do this with every, like, with every body part. So, like, for arms, since most of the time your biceps are dominating, or whatever, or you can do it with both. For biceps, you know, most people just, I'd say curl. 
target muscle, you can't really curl a benchmark, but I guess doing a 25 or a, is that a 25 or a 10 on and do that. I mean, I'll, I'll throw in some 25s, hit that 10 times, or sometimes I'll just, I'll hit them. Um, I'll hit 115 and get six, seven reps out of that. So now we're going in for three reps. And if you notice, I'm putting my middle finger on the ring. So it'll be focusing more on the chest. And I'm going to really control my hands from sliding. So we've got this. One, two, come on, guys. The one thing I'm telling you guys is to breathe. You need that breath. So you don't want to faint. You just want to breathe in. Breathe out. I actually felt that in my obliques a little bit. <laughs> and what you can do, guys, after you hit the reps, Instantly knock off from this benchmark down to 115. Pop, rep that about as many times as you can. Fuck. And then after you wrap it out, if you have a spot, or try to get 10 more negatives. And then strip that off 95, rep that out as many times as you can, and aim for 10 more negatives. Then after 95, go to 75 as many times as you can, and aim for um, about 6 to 10 negatives. Then go to 55. And go to, then go to the bar, and then after that, try to do some push-ups as many as you can. That'll be, that'll actually complete your chest workout. So now, going in for two reps. Um, I'm now putting my <laughs> ring finger for two reps. That's, this is pretty interesting. You got my ring finger. It's funny. We're gonna see how <coughs> this goes. Hey, Pat, can spot me. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ah. There would be a shame I'm calling on a 13 year old boy to be my spotter, so I, you guys don't got to be shame because we're going to rock. One, two, three. <coughs> All right. Cool. All right. And now we got one more set. We've hit 44 reps. And well, I'm going to make this a good warm up. Go warm up and then do bend over rows. Okay, cool. That was a hardcore workout, to be honest with you, right? That's a good warm up, I guess, for me. Now will be the ultimate test with your thumb right outside of the ring. So line your thumb up on it. Alright, come on. Spot you? Yeah. You thought you were strong, though. I am strong, but you got to slab you on me. Oh, no. Getting a little bit slabby, but... Chop, chop. Yeah, guys, you don't normally see people going into this wide of a grip. It's actually a really good grip for ultimate chest. So we count that we're going to pick it. One, two, two. <coughs> Alright guys, we got it up. So we can clean it all 40 foot reps. Now you guys, I want to see some of you motherfuckers try that move, right? That actually just woke me up. Felt good. And... I'm talking about. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Oakland Gym, bodybuilding out.